Welcome to clickmyproject.com Our project title is Traffic Engineering in Software Defined Networks Abstract It is important to ensure network capacity utilization and improved delay and loss performance in software defined network. Software defined networking is a new networking paradigm that separates the control and forwarding plans in a network. Traffic engineering aims to distribute traffic so as to optimize some performance criterion. Our proposed GER protocol first is that these protocols use shortest path routing with destination based forwarding. We also propose a method called ARIMA that is Auto Regressive Integrated Moving Average which is providing the forecasting error and the information about the nodes. So in this process we have to done the proposed work for this project that is we have to uh, implemented both gear and arima there is auto regressive integrated moving average uh, with this project let us see the flow of our project first SGN network is forming then we have to do that uh, gear protocol for shortest path routing if that uh, validated if the node sends the uh, information from source to destination is uh, with the shortest path we have to do the anal anomaly detection using that arima method then efficient data transmission is done and then then evaluation is started we have to do four uh, parameters uh, for evaluation first one is pdr next uh, pdr means packet delivery ratio next to throughput and then delay and then energy let us see the output of our project first open terminal window and then type cd space ns 2.34 our package is ns all in one 2.34 so just type it cd space ns 2.34 and then make uh, this was uh, our uh, configuration of our uh, uh, process so we have to now we have to run our project using terminal window open terminal window and uh, go to that uh, product folder then type uh, the TCL code running syntax in a space main dot TCL in this process we have to implement gear protocol that is geographic energy our routing protocol this shows the routing information So this is what is uh, what I called NAM window. NAM is nothing but network animator window. When we run the project, this is for uh, simulation speed. So this is called uh, node deployment. Then source and sync. Uh, this is for source. That is node of 12 actors uh, source and node of 0 actors uh, sync. So now the source sent the information to the destiny uh, the neighbor node so if the source node want to send the data to the destination sync node it sends the information via this uh, multiple path routing if any node is action malicious node it identify that node using uh, the arima concept so we have to detect the anomaly based on the arima concept the malicious node which is drop the packets now so cbr that is called a cbr traffic so uh, this trap uh, drop the packet at 
12.62 MB packet is uh, dropped. So we have to identified uh, that uh, node and transform the information to another routing process. So we have to identify uh, that another routing path and send uh, that information via that routing path. So the data transmission, our data transmission for data transmission we use a TCP transmission control protocol. Uh, this mentioned the when it sent and num uh, how many bytes sent. So when we click on that dash, it shows that uh, uh, small uh, alert box and that shows our uh, transmission communication protocol and uh, which time it uh, sent sent and now uh, how much uh, byte it uh, sent so finally this uh, circle denotes the transmission range we take 600 so across 600 meter for transmission range finally for the information sent to destination for running a graph we have to type gnu plot space energy dot plot so so we have compared uh, the existing system that is OSPF open uh, shortest path first uh, for with our uh, gear uh, that is geographic uh, energy aware routing. So this red line uh, shows the existing system and the green shows the, uh, the proposed system. We have to compare the number of nodes versus uh, the energy consumption energy consumption is uh, uh, measured uh, using joule so our uh, uh, our proposed gear protocol pro consume less energy than the existing YSPF